Five-year-old Nima has woken herself up, showered, and is getting herself ready for the day. She's old enough to look after herself, and her parents went to work before sunrise. Alone and uncomplaining, she will get on with a full day of chores. But the family laundry is not her biggest responsibility. She has been left to look after her baby sister until the adults and the older kids return from working in the fields. Children in this town go to work when they are not much older than these five, six, and seven-year-olds caring for infants. Lack of oversight and an ever-growing hunger for cheap labour means that each day this town is emptied of all those strong enough to work, meaning many of the kids do not get the chance to go to school. Di kelirik, bermakna dia mibari ane juga di mana lalu di mana lalu dah sura. Di kelirik, di mana le cawang mesti kelirik ayu ayam ni. Mibari pasang mesti mesti turun mabian naik, mabian naik ni di kelirik ada dia di TV G G G G di luar sila lah. Adi mibari kalau turun kurang yang sabi lah, di ni ama sabi mata jauh turun dia lah. Mibari kurang yang sabi mata jauh. Adi yang di ni ama cawang ni di cawang lupa kan? Pisi. Popra, in Thailand's Tak province, is one of the most inaccessible areas of the country's border with Myanmar. It is one of the country's major agricultural districts, where much of the produce is farmed by migrants from across the border. A 12-year-old boy picks potatoes alongside his mother. As younger children make games out of filling the sacks, this family has come from Pegu Division in South Central Burma. They crossed the border into Thailand, where many migrants hope to benefit from relative political stability, higher wages, and a cheaper cost of living. But the boy says he hasn't been to school since he left Burma. <laughs> The Thai government has previously guaranteed free primary education to all children in the country, including non-citizens. But that option isn't open to the children of migrants without documents. Many also too poor to cover costs related to sending a child to school. Nor Pore heads up the Burma Migrants Education Committee, which funds 24 learning centres here in Tak Province. She says there are 50,000 Burmese migrant children living on this stretch of the border, but in the 2014-2015 school year, only 13,000 enrolled in classes. Part of Burma's transition towards democracy has been an effort to bring the Burmese diaspora home. In the northern Thai city of Chiang Mai, the director of Myanmar's labor department is on a fact-finding mission. He says that while his office is committed to protecting the rights of Burmese working migrant children, officials are treading a fine line between help and hindrance. <laughs>
Despite change in Burma, people are migrating to Thailand in greater numbers than ever before. Education centres like Norpore's will fight to ensure that for families who move to Thailand, the dream of a better life includes the ability to send children to school.